All right, new version. Let's go. Cool. I like it. I like the hang time there. Yeah, it's neat. I am not quite buying still this. Let me just go through my frame. She's going up here. Pushes. Yeah, it's just this. This right there. This drop into this. Those three frames here. This really feels more like she has a magical belt that pulls it forward here. Or she suddenly has, you know, some uh, rockets in the back here that go <sighs> and move it forward. It's just, it's a tough sell for someone who's basically standing and who brings one leg forward to slide so far forward so quickly. I think that's my, that's my biggest issue here. So the rest is definitely cool. I really, really like this as she comes in and the timing of that hang time the arms and that drop it's all very cool i really like this now if i look past this and just go it's up here i mean one thing where you go in terms of acting choices this is a thing where now she sees the guy I, at this point he flails she wouldn't know it is and i think you can bring up her head a bit so that there's a connection and she tracks this person and then when he falls she brings her head down right now she's kind of looking always at the guy and it's a bit odd that she wouldn't have a broader look and i should have seen that before i apologize um that's something i would add acting wise to head up then down into this that's cool i don't mind all that grabs this watch out i wouldn't have that hand gets a bit lost right through there and then there in terms of the speed and the silhouette. I feel like she is, she's pulling and you can see how this is pointed down. So when she slips, you mean, I, I see this, it goes up and then down. So to me, that's the path and not this, this would work if that arm was down here and she's pulling on the neck or something and slips and then this goes up like that you know what i mean i'm not quite buying that the mechanics there of that so i will bring that arm would now be down here maybe a silhouette and then could be here and then you get into maybe here and then it could be here and then maybe swing over but then you go back down so it would have to be a a shallower arc there and then watch out she's a bit and stop it's a bit pose to pose i know this is stopping before arms are still moving and even then the body stops and the arms are moving afterwards there is offset but there's something about or it feels very pose to pose but it's also her arms they go left 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 stop even though i see a bit more in here it's just an overall shoo, post to post feel. I do like her little hop into this. And he brings it low. Arm is more visible. Watch out. It's, it's a tough one to bend his wrist over this way. And then bring this up like that. If she pulls, I think this would be lower. And it's the fingers and the wrist that rotate up. Fingers are up. And it's not like that's when it extends. But at that point, that elbow would be down, everything would be lower, and the wrist would be up. If that makes sense. It's just this feels very IK. And you're gonna have to soften that pop here. The rest is fine, and I like how she goes. And on this, instead of just that, you might even go broader with the broader. Oh man. Because right now it's cool you have this then it's oh flat and then uh that disappointment could be you know imagine maybe she's tried this 50 times it's and he messes it up all the time and that way you have a broader contrast to go from here to here to here versus just in here he is fine let me just check him out as he comes up here and up oh, watch out here this feels very broken here 
you're gonna have to reduce at least the forward rotation maybe maybe in profile or like sideways here could work for this to be high like, but this feels rotated towards us too much this feels better that's all fun yeah that's all fun i like all of this and wait the bodyguard let me just see there was just something about him oh yeah because the camera let's see what did you do did you move him and the camera dun, dun, dun. he's moving oh nice yeah really pushes through watch out this feels like it's an intersection where her head is here and then that knee just went straight through her her head it's so fast that you don't register it but see what you can do for her to be potentially a bit flatter maybe and then she could also close her eyes close her eyes close her eyes and here open them you know she's still kind of protecting her face to some degree and then that arm is a bit through all of this a bit relaxed it could also start to kind of go out a bit more you know she gets into this and almost swings it back and it could be over here maybe even this helped a bit push that leg up it just feels a bit too relaxed rest is cool yeah that's kind of that so to me in terms of the acting choices yeah it's just her at the end love this again love the jump and then once you get into the facial stuff it could be where she has a moment of maybe she has her head tilted lower she's like this here longer you know it depends if you have to decide if you want her acting wise to be playful menacing you know when she goes up here that she has her head down and kind of the eyebrows cut into her eyes she goes like oh you're not going to take me out or she's like this eyebrows up and and laughing like oh this is going to be great i can't wait to beat you up into this you know what i mean and even here you would have a big smile and she's laughing like god oh, is this awesome and then when this happens like oh man not that idiot again and it's kind of that change of we can make it we can make it we can make it and it's like you know a lot of strain and pain in the face and then here ah oh, you idiot did it again and, you know, and he could be the idiot where he goes, huh? And then he has a big smile like, hey, guys, what's going on? Nice night tonight. So that could be something. Or you make, make it, you know, menacing where phew, like this. And this is more like squint and the teeth clenched, getting into this and so on. That could be that. Now, the biggest thing that I feel needs fixing with this is what if, what if this will change the time it's a destructive note as i call these words it's a potential change but um but i think could help you so when she gets up here let's see basically how can we as new get her to be so fast so what if she gets up and hold on she needs to could it be something where she's like this, but then jumps up backwards and then it's almost like her hands are against the wall with one leg up and the other leg against the wall. And then when she pushes, it's that she, she pushes herself off the wall. If that makes sense i can't really draw well you know like she's like she's she is in that pose like i had before and then back it's almost like back bounce forward she jumps up with this leg against the wall pushes herself into this into that i know that makes sense um and if not i know again i don't know if that makes sense but if if you need help you can always send me the scene i should have all of these characters i I think including this guy, I think that's the Punisher, right? Um, or you can just import them all, and I can I can take a quick pass at it in the in Maya, just to make it clear, so I'm not confusing you. But I think that could also be playing into the playfulness or the aggressiveness of her, of not just, hey, I'm here, I'm going to charge you. I'm going to be creative in going doing into that slide. Anyway, that could be cool. Let me know. Um, yeah, and that's that. Thanks. All right, 
There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.